Are you a defender of human rights? Yeah! Perhaps even an anti-racist? Uh -huh. Do you and your comrades stand up against gentrification and evictions in your neighborhood? Totally! And when you see Israel build walls and checkpoints for Palestinians, bulldoze their homes, take their land, murder them in the streets, and bomb them from the skies, you get so riled up in anger that you want to boycott Israeli goods and institutions in protest? You anti-Semite! Oh, brother. You're a savage terrorist supporter! They give you my land! They give you my land! You're a terrorist! And you have no place on this world! The people are like that gentleman over there. I call him a gentleman. He isn't really a gentleman. He's a murderer. Why does the Boycott, Divestment and Sanctions movement, a movement that calls for people internationally to boycott Israeli products, to divest from companies that profit from Israel's occupation, and for sanctions against Israel's economy in order to get them to abide by international law and human rights conventions, why does it get charged with being anti-Semitic? Well, because Zionism, a right-wing Jewish nationalist movement, successfully convinced some Jews in Europe a century ago that they were some unique race incompatible with the rest of the world that had to isolate itself within the borders of a Jewish-only state in order to finally be at peace. The early Zionists would appeal to anyone who would give them land. Fun fact, Palestine wasn't their first choice. It was Uganda. Eventually, the Zionists made a deal with anti-Semitic imperial leaders in Britain who had control of Palestine. And that's when Palestine became a real option by bringing Jews to the Holy Land. It bolstered the idea that Zionism was tantamount to Jewishness. You criticize Zionism, and boy, you an anti-Semite. BDS scares the shit out of Zionists because it's effective at delegitimizing the apartheid state, where liberal democracy exists for Jews with a police state for Palestinians. That system feels threatened. When it comes to accessing security information, speed is everything. At G4S, BDS actives have forced millions of dollars in contracts to be rescinded. In 2017, in the US, Ecuador, and Jordan, contracts with private security firm G4S were dropped because of their human rights abuses in Israeli prisons and also US and UK detention centers. Australian singer Lord cancelled her Tel Aviv concert at the end of 2017, and in April, Israeli actress Natalie Portman refused to receive an award in Israel because of the deadly violent Israeli crackdown on Palestinian protests leading up to Nakba Day. Even though Portman is a proud Zionist and opponent of BDS, Someone should break it to her gently that she's actually engaging in a form of BDS. Plus, an anti-BDS law has been defeated in the United States, a country that funds Israel's occupation to the tune of $3.8 billion a year. Which begs the question... Por qué? The most common theory is that the Israel lobby in Washington is so strong, the US bends to its will. But in fact, since Israel's 1967 war against Syria, Jordan, and Egypt, when it completely occupied Gaza and the West Bank, the U.S. has viewed Israel as an incredible strategic and military ally for its own interests in the region, mainly controlling access to oil and crushing uprisings in governments that may get in the way of that. BDS is calling for nonviolent action to end the occupation and colonization of Palestine, the dismantling of the apartheid walls, full equal rights for Arab citizens, and the right of return of Palestinian refugees to their homes. BDS was important in taking down South African apartheid, but for Palestine it takes on an even more important role because unlike South Africa, where a black working class majority could strike and halt the system, Israel has basically excluded Palestinians from being an important part of the economy. Instead, their goal is ethnic cleansing. It must be clear that there is no room for both peoples together in this country. There is no other way than to transfer the Arabs from here to neighboring countries, all of them. Not one village, not one tribe should be left. So, is BDS anti-Semitic? No. What is anti-Semitic is the Israeli state speaking in the name of all Jewish people. It's Israel treating African and Middle Eastern Jewish immigrants as second-class citizens because they don't look like the white European Jews that emigrated from Europe. The accusations leveled at the BDS movement are just the latest in an old Zionist tradition to hide the colonial atrocities and discredit the right of Palestinians to be free. We're working hard here at Telesur to bring you content that is critical, fun, and well-made. If you like these videos, share them. If you agree or disagree, leave us your comments, and make sure you follow our new video content page, Telesur Play. I'm Adriano Contreras. Later.